So I'm covered in bodywork dust again. Only this time I'm not dreading it. I've been out here since, like, well, before the sun came up. I'm working on the duster. And I'm going to go through this in a minute. This is my redemption for the last paint job. She didn't turn out too bad, but the car that we started on, the Daily Driver Swinger, remember that's a car that we built out of scrap parts six years ago. So I was recycling scrap into scrap. So I did the best I could on the bodywork. The paint didn't come out bad. But this one here, the body is exceptionally good. I will walk around that and I'll show you what I'm talking about and run through all this in a minute. But first, a lot of you guys have been asking about other projects, other cars, and things that we've got going on. So let's run through them real quick. The, uh, the first is our Plan Z Dart. That's a lightweight Slant 6 Dart race car. And you remember last winter we did the work on the block, we did the work on the cylinder head, we ordered the cam and all of that. So basically that engine just needs to be assembled. And the idea was to bring the car here now and start working on the car. But we got sidetracked on the dart, on this duster on it. So as soon as the duster is finished, within two weeks or so, we'll have that car here in the shop. We'll tear it down and go through the whole build over the winter. That's our, one of our winter projects. We have a second winter project, which is this thing here. This is going to be our Gambler 500 build. So this is a 68 Valiant that was a parts car. Um, what we're going to do with this thing is we're pulling all of the floors out of it. We got, we just, we scored, thanks to Jim Bennett over at Jim's Hot Rods, we scored a 1971 Dodge D100 frame, uh, you know, a chassis frame. So we're going to shorten that down to 108 inches and we're going to channel this body down over that frame and we're going to build this. We just, this just got delivered here this morning. This is a 273 block. It's in really nice shape. So with this, we're going to build a magnum headed, well you guys keep asking about magnums, magnum. I'm going to take care of you now. We're going to build a magnum headed roller cam 273 with a four speed for this thing. So we're going to have a fast, fun two wheel drive off road car. And like I said, next September, we're going to do the Gambler 500 here in Tennessee. Uh, the Hemi Sabishi. Here's the block, all pretty, straight from the machine shop. Um, we've got the crank, the pistons and rods. We're just waiting for a few odds and ends, and then this will go together. We're behind schedule. We're supposed to make the mole party with it this week, and that ain't gonna happen. Uh, not only did we have the delay with the machine shop, but Kiwi had knee surgery, had his knee replaced, so. We got behind several weeks on all of that. But that, this car, this project, will be together before the end of the year. We're working on it. Um, what else? A lot of you guys, come over here. A lot of you guys keep asking about the bike in the background. We picked this up last winter, and we had intended to do stuff with it over the course of you know this, this summer and all. But again, see, we got sidetracked. We have a lot going on and not a lot of hands doing them. So this is a, it's a 1974 CB360, and um, we're going to do a wider quality restoration on it. And over the next couple of weeks, I'll tell you what, probably, we'll probably wait until the track's closed because we still have lots of work to do with Bottle Rocket. Um, we're going to get this thing started. The motor isn't locked up, so we'll do a first start in 30, this thing's going off the road since 1986. So I don't know, do the math. This will be the first start in 34 years. So that's what we'll do with this. And like I said, it's going to be a rider quality restoration. So back to the duster. As you know, I pulled this thing out of storage because we do, a, we do another channel called Ask Uncle Tony. And we do that with Uncle Crystal. And Uncle Crystal is going to learn how to drive stick on this car. So once I dragged it out and got it running, I fell in love with it. It drives perfectly. It runs it's a, it's a dream. It really is a nice car. All original, all solid. And the body is straight. I didn't realize how straight the body was. So I said, you know what? After the fiasco trying to get that swinger straight, and all of this is still fresh in my mind, I want to dive on this car. I want to do the small amount of body work that it has, and then I want to paint it and see how it all turns out. Um, so I'll show you what we've done so far. What I did was I went around the car, and you can see I circled all the little damages, a little ding here, a little ding here. There was a divot right here. Um, and I've been, I've been working on them, been working on the problems, worst to best. Well, you know, they're taking care of the worst parts of it first. 
So the worst part of the whole car was was this right here, this this section. So this was a dent, but it wasn't a, like a, a smooth dent. I guess a tree or something fell on this car, and it was a very irregular, like you know, very deep in some spots, three quarters of an inch from, from my measurement on it. Uh, and it's very deep in some spots, shallow in others, but it was very wrinkled and crinkly and everything. And uh, I tried a few things. The unibody on this car runs right here. So all of the sheet metal damage is in an inaccessible place. Like you couldn't get in there with a hammer and dolly and start working it. So I think, well, let me try pulling it out. So I welded a couple of bolts to it. And I was going to try a slap hammer to see what happened. So I welded the bolts in there and just playing around, I started pulling up on it. And as I was pulling up, I saw it start to divot down over here. And I was like, you know what, this is going to be a nightmare. I'm going to create more work because the middle of the roof is beautiful. I'm going to create more work for myself than, you know, is necessary. So what I did was I cut a patch to the, the shape of the roof. Uh, shaped it as best I could and I welded it in. So that's what's under here now. The dent is still there. It's going to stay there, but this is all solid metal right to this point. And I, I, I did this a few days ago. Um, it just needs a little bit of finish work. This was a companion dent to it, so we'll work on that out. Um, oh, watch. That's my, that's my shrinking, you know, because I, I had to shrink this dent down a little bit so I can get it to work, you know. Um, so, like I said, I'm going around the car and taking care of all the little spots that it needs. This corner here was, was all folded in. We've worked that back out, got behind it nice. It's, it's good. So where at this stage of the game with the swinger, I was, in, I was in dread and panic and just like totally out of my element. But this time around, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm enjoying this, this is fun. So, um, and, and also, I picked up a lot of tips from you guys. Uh, because you watched me shoot that car and you were like, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that, you should have done the other thing. And it's like, yeah, you know, they're right. You know, I, I, have, I think I have a much better, better handle on it now. I have a lot more confidence. And I think we can shoot this car really good. Um, and we're going to find out. I guess it'll probably take me about two weeks to, to finish working through all of this. But, uh, okay, the color. We're using the same uh, TCP Global Restoration Shop paint that we used on the Swinger. The Swinger we used the Hemi Orange, which is just a factory color. This car's original color is uh, what they call the Sherwood, dark Sherwood Poly. So it's just a dark green metallic. And the closest match we could find, and actually I like it better, the closest match we could find in that uh, Restoration Shop paint was British Racing Green Metallic. So basically it's the same color with just a tad more pop. And it's 150 bucks for the gallon. And it comes with the reducer. Uh, not the reducer, it's, it's pre-reduced. It, it comes with the, uh, the hardener. And uh, I think it's gonna look great. And I won't have to really repaint too much of like under the hood or anything, because the match will be close enough. And again, we're not looking for a show car. Just a nice, cool, solid daily driver. So. That's where we're at with this thing. Working through it a little at a time. And like I said, this time around, I'm actually enjoying myself. This is fun. So when you're working on a new skill, you know, acquiring new knowledge, and uh, you've got a chance to follow it up with something similar immediately, right? You dive on it. And that's why we decided to do this. And it's, it's definitely not, you know, uh, the most efficient thing to do right now. But in my mind, it's like if I'm gonna master the body and do it repeatedly as much as possible and if I don't do another let's say you know another paint job or anything like that for a year or so I'll lose whatever momentum I picked up on the last one so that's why we shuffled things around and you know we dive around this plus I want to see this car in paint it's just it's it's a beautiful car beautiful color and you know I'm into it so I guess that's it for now um, I'm gonna get back to this and um, we have new merch right Uncle Kathy we don't have new merch all right but we, we do have old merch. The old merch is still in our store at UncleTonysGarage.com. So, you know. All right. So, all right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.